Now I'll be moving the boards with the part and solder paste over to the hot air soldering station. I have the preheat plate set to 100 degrees celsius and then I'll be using this hot air gun roughly at 290 degrees celsius. I'll be blowing the air at a low speed so I don't blow off the components. And then slowly bring in the hot air gun to the solder paste on the components and then wait until the solder paste heats up to its molding temperature and then use a tweezer carefully to fix any components if it gets blown out of alignment In case any of these parts blew off during this hot air soldering process, just rework it after you heated the other side of the board. Then go ahead to solder the other side of the board once you're, once you're done with the right side. As you can see, I kind of put too much solder paste. I'll be fixing up the solder bridges um, once I'm done uh, with this heat gun. It's good practice to hold the hot air gun so that um, the solder could reflow on the part. Be very careful with operating this hot air gun. It's very, very hot. So I'm using this tweezer in case I need to fix any of the alignment blowing from the hot air. Once you have soldered all the components to your best of your capabilities, Turn off and cool off the hot air gun. Okay, now we will bring it back to the microscope and inspect and fix any of the solder um, that has been bridged 